Hello, I'm Tom Camp, DevRel Engineer at Ably, and I'm here today to talk to you about creating live cursors, making use of Ably's new Spaces SDK, which makes it easier to create collaborative elements on your own web pages and sites. In this video, we're going to be looking at what are live cursors, why they might be useful to you, and then also finally how to implement live cursors with the new Spaces SDK. So what are live cursors? Live cursors are effectively what a cursor is on your local machine, but shared between multiple other users, usually to indicate your position in a collaborative space, such as let's say in a Miro board, where you would indicate that you are somewhere over a certain element within the Miro board. Live cursors can be incredibly useful for any scenario where you're needing to allow for users to indicate elements on a web page or just generally indicate where they are in a location of a web page or an application in general. For example, if we do consider Miro, often you'll want to indicate that you're interested in a certain bit of text or a certain bit of a diagram perhaps that's been generated. And you'll also want to indicate what things on that page you're interested in and wish for others to look at. And vice versa, you want to be able to see what other people are interested in and what they are pointing at. Live cursors can be useful for various other applications as well outside of say a collaborative whiteboard and more and more innovations are being made in introducing these collaborative elements to everyday activities such as chat, such as video editing, such as even if you think of say a Google Doc where you will usually have a representation via cursor position where a user is. With that said and done, let's actually look at how we can implement our own live cursors using Ably's new Spaces SDK written in JavaScript. So, so far for our project, what we have is on the left, our code that we're going to be saving to our existing project, which is based off of our demos available in GitHub, which will be available in the description below if you want to follow this along at your own pace. On the right, we have two browser windows and we're intending to effectively share our cursor position from one browser to the other browser and preferably to allow it to scale to any number of browsers all sharing their cursors with one another. At present though, because we've yet to save our spaces code, we do not get this sharing functionality between them. If we now look at the code though, let's break it down to see what we're doing and how this is going to allow us to share our cursor positions. Firstly, we're going to be importing our Spaces SDK as well as the core Ably Realtime SDK. The Spaces SDK is going to make use of this real-time connection we will instantiate using the base Ably client library in order to connect to Ably and make use of that connection to create virtual spaces for us within Ably. We then also have a use cursor, which we are importing from within the project itself, which can be found on GitHub. And all that is doing is with a position X, Y, it then allows for this cursor to be drawn onto the browser. With the libraries imported, we can start off by instantiating an Ably client. This means that we are allowing ourselves to have a connection to Ably, which we can use for instantiating spaces. Here, we're making use of an auth URL, which is effectively an endpoint used to generate a token for us to access Ably, and specifically the application in which this will be running. If you're wanting to just do this yourself without creating an auth endpoint, you can also, in testing, make use of an API key directly. However, this isn't recommended in production applications because of the fact that it is less secure than making use of token authentication. Once you have your Ably client library instantiated, we can make use of that to create an instance of the Spaces SDK. With that Spaces SDK available, we can then make use of the Spaces SDK to get access to a specific space within it. So in this case, we're going to create a space within Ably called testing, just due to the fact that this will be us testing out this product. We could also rename this to anything we want though. It is just an identifier to allow for us to communicate to the same space between different browsers. Now that we have access to the space, we can now enter it. Entering it will mean that we are present and we can pass in useful information such as our username, in this case, Helmut. Now that we're able to listen to cursor updates, we can move on to actually sharing our own cursor positions, which can be done by just having an event listener for every time our mouse moves, getting the X and Y coordinates of our mouse, and then sharing that position via space.cursors.set, which is to basically say we are setting our new cursor position to be this updated X and Y coordinate. 
The Spaces SDK will handle the distribution of these positions, as well as also doing optimizations in terms of network trafficking and how on the receiving side, the messages are sent through to this callback function. The Spaces SDK then actually provides further optimizations to try and actually make it better in terms of message usage in say a particularly busy channel, where rather than sending a message every single time the X and Y coordinate is updated, instead, it will start batching up messages for you if it were going to become prohibitively expensive for you to continue to send messages at that particular rate. This means that messages will be batched up within the Spaces SDK rather than just being sent straight away. And on the receiving side, this callback function here will only be called once every X milliseconds at a certain distinct rate with the new cursor positions so that within your own code, you can still treat it as though it is a live stream of data coming through with singular stream updates. With that done, we can save our code and refresh these pages. And if we're lucky, we'll see that we are now actually having our cursor being shared between the two clients. And likewise, if we go from this one to this one, we can see that our cursor is again being shared and distributed between the two browsers. And with that, we're done. We now have the capacity to share our cursor positions with any number of potential users, with Ably and the Spaces SDK handling the complexities of scaling up those communications, handling the distribution of messages between any number of users, as well as also providing various optimizations under the hood so you can get on with creating your own project rather than worrying about the intricacies of how you make optimized live cursors. I hope you found this video useful. We are releasing more videos on various other features such as component locking and also have previous videos on the avatar stack and how to implement that yourself available on this same channel. And in the description below, we contain more details on documentation, useful blog content and any other peripheral content which might be useful to you. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day.